I am the chair of Neighborhood Watch Brampton, a volunteer community-run or organization formed two years ago by Brampton Focus Media to involve and connect citizens in community safety, crime prevention, and community well-being. Several months ago, we engaged with residents and businesses with our Tuesday Town Hall online series. We provided information about the upcoming, upcoming cannabis legislation and informed about issues in the workplace as well as the implications for municipalities. We also engaged residents about this topic at our neighborhood watch meetings throughout Brampton this past summer. The general feedback from these informed residents of, uh, excuse me, sorry, informed residents was that cannabis is now legal, it's a reality in Canada, and cannot be ignored. Cannabis is already being distributed through illegal channels in the city, including neighborhood streets and schools. Cannabis is already being supplied legally online to Brampton residents. More municipal support should be geared to substance abuse and addiction to other more dangerous controlled substances that are in epidemic levels in many parts of the city. Opting out of cannabis retail stores would result in Brampton residents going to nearby municipalities to meet their needs. Opting in could bring economic benefits to the city and reduce distrib distribution through illegal channels. A majority of residents, through our quantitative assessment, were in favor of retail cannabis stores in Brampton. However, concerns were raised about the level of preparedness of law enforcement, schools and educators, bylaw offices and workplaces. As a mother of four children and someone who knows full well about the increasing rise in crime recently across Brampton, I have concerns into, into opting in. How will Brampton ensure that enforcement is implemented with regards to smoking in restricted areas? How much will it cost for enforcement? Do we have a policy for nuisance and odor by law? Does the city have regulations for youth protection with regards to age verification, ID, advertising, and marketing? Does the city have regulations drawn up with the regulation of homegrown plants and how to properly compost residential and industrial cannabis plants? Neighborhood Watch Brampton believes that retail cannabis stores in the city is not an option. It is an eventuality. The question that needs to be answered is, we do not want to be the first adopter and the benefits could come with that. Or should we follow Mississauga and wait and have a wait and see policy so that we avoid the pitfalls of what appears to be legisl legislation that is a work in progress? Thank you.